Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today on behalf of my creative year. This is my muse for the month of October. Um, I was recently thumbing through Pinterest. You know, it's my favorite place to get inspiration. And I remembered when I saw something else that I had made th these little metal hearts years ago. And I, need to, I wanted to revisit the idea, but kind of in a different way. This is... And I can't, I don't think I can peel them apart. I think I glued them. But I took um, doodle paper and glued the doodle paper on top of this metal. It's very thin metal that had sticky backs on it. And I ran these guys through my cuddle bug with the um, folders that I had. I liked it so much, I did the alcohol ink on it. Then I glued it, pulled the sticky back off, and stuck it on... Uh, doodle paper or I think maybe I doodled on each one of these individually I can't remember it's been too long ago and um, poked holes in them because I made a mobile out of them I have it around here somewhere anyway so I have tons of these guys maybe we'll see them on something else later in the future I don't know but I'd, I can't let go of them. There's too much work in these with the doodling on every one of them that I just cannot let go. You know how I am about saving stuff. So I was looking at Pinterest and I saw that people are using this metal tape that they use to wrap up pipes and things with and it's sticky back. And it's, I don't know if it's aluminum. What does it say in here? It's from 3M. And I don't read Spanish. <laughs> anyway, so my husband works in a hardware store, and I had him pick me up a, t a thing of it. And boy, this stuff's heavy. So what I've been doing is thinking about covering this book up because it's I, I don't find the covers attractive. You know, who knew? So what I've been doing is I've been cutting little squares of it and I've been doodling on every little square, so I want to cover my whole book in these little doodle squares and put them on here to cover up as much of the book as I can. I'm going to play around with these and see what I can do with this, and I think I'm going to cover up my whole piece here. I just wanted a different look for this because if I, I work in this, I really don't want to look at the front of this, and I don't want to do paper, glue. I don't want to get all that mess out. I just want to do something quick, easy, and simple where all I have to do is cut off little squares, decorate it, peel the back on it, slap it on there. This couldn't be a simpler project if I came up with it myself, which I did not. Alrighty, so I will fast forward you through the process and then you will see the end. Thanks!
been using this technique with the black shoe polish for many, many years. It's nothing new. It's not some brand new technique. People have been using it for a long time. Smells not fabulous, but I'm okay with it. I'm just going to take a little makeup, uh, you know, those things you wipe off your uh, mascara with. Rub it on the shoe polish a bit. Then I'm just going to take it and rub it on here. You could use alcohol inks on there, but I don't really want to use alcohol ink on this. I just wanted to see what this would look like with the... Whoops, let me put you down a little further. What it would look like with the black shoe polish on it. I've done uh, tin foil, like aluminum foil used in the kitchen this way before. With the black shoe polish. I kind of like the way it looks. I could put it on heavy and let it dry and then come back and buff some of it off. There's a million different ways you can use this. I've done alcohol inks. I've done shoe polish. You know, experimented a little bit with everything. And just rub and buff. And since this stuff is a lot of wax, it goes on nice and smooth and it should stick in a lot of the crevices even in between where I tried to make the solid see like right there there's blue and above there's blue and you have to put it on sometimes kind of thickish so that it really does fill in those little lines so that you can see your drawings much better so I go over it once, and then I go back over it again, rubbing it in to make sure it fills in the crevices so that you can see what you've done, the results of all your work. And you just keep putting it in until all the crevices are kind of filled up with the shoe polish. Once it dries, it's pretty much done. I let it dry for a little while before I really touch again because otherwise you end up with your fingers looking like that. <laughs> I'm most familiar with this because it took me a while to understand I should not touch it after I'm done fooling around with it. I should leave it alone. Let it dry. So like it does when you polish your shoes, you need to let it dry a little bit. You can do it heavy, you can do it light, since I want the kind of antique -y look. You can also do a uh, rub and buff, but my rub and buff is really dried out, and I don't want to buy anything new. I just want to use what I have because I want to try to experiment with this to see how much I like it or not. Um, I was going to tell you that the roll that I used my husband said it was about eight or nine dollars and his estimation for money is way different than mine so figure ten <laughs> alright so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and kinda of buff it out a little bit see I've got a lot of shoe polish here and on my fingers now I smell like somebody's cowboy boots <laughs> when you live in the south that's a very common smell <laughs> Okay, so I think that's going to do it. Let me back you out. Ugh. Let me back you out a little bit. So it's not horrible looking, but I think maybe I'd like it a little darker. So maybe I should press in. I would like it to be in between the seams. I love the way this looks. So there you go. There is my muse. It was just an experiment to see how it would look with the foil tape. And it's, I think it's aluminum because trying to pick it off and then rolling it in my fingers, it felt like aluminum that was sticky back. Well, son of a gun. It's hard to get that thing back on. All right. 
So I'm going to continue to rub. I think some of the lines I did deeper than others. So the more dug in I got with it, the better it's going to look like this one looks really good because those are deeper lines. This one's good, my initial. Some of these stuff, I probably could go back over them and press a little harder, but honestly, I'm not going to put that much effort into it. I just want to see how it's going to look once it's dried. I may try alcohol inks on it. I don't know. Now that I put wax on it, I don't know if it'll work or not. Doesn't matter. It was just a nice little experiment on a Saturday afternoon. Cool, huh? Yeah! Alrighty, so this is it for my muse for the Facebook group, My Creative Year, for the month of October. See you guys next month. Bye-bye.